This is episode 139. The whole process of content creation can be pretty confusing, but if you boil it down, it really is just four parts. In today's episode, I will give you specific steps that you can follow to just make sure that you are publishing the best content without guessing and being so stressed out. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. You know, for me, and just for my experience, it can be very easy to fall into the trap of just writing content, publishing content, just for the sake of it. You know, like if you have clients, um, you know, you, you are tasked with writing content on maybe a weekly basis or what have you. And sometimes if you just write content just for the sake of it, it really will not serve you for the better. You know, I have, I work on a couple of websites where there's just so much content and a lot of it doesn't really rank. It doesn't bring in much traffic and it's just so messy. You know, they have a blog and then just the content is just put up there without any strategy. And I I fall into this trap too of just creating content just for the sake of it. But, um, you know, it could be very, very messy to create content and have a messy blog that doesn't really have any focus. So um, having a content strategy is really important. And it could be pretty confusing if you kind of figure out, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. Um, But if you boil it down, it really is just four parts. You could bucket into four buckets, essentially. And I got this idea when I took the SEO writing masterclass by Surfer. So it's basically, you know, a quick um, online course that talks about how you can leverage SEO with writing to really make sure that you have a blog that speaks to your target and actually converts and and ranks. So according to Surfer, um, they boiled it down to four parts. So there is a discovery phase, the writing phase, the conversion strategy phase, and the last part is the optimization phase. So in this episode, I just want to briefly touch on these four parts with you. And touching on the discovery phase, that's the first part of the content creation process. So what is that? So that's the part where you do your research. So what kind of research can you do? You could do your competitive research, see what kind of blogs are out there, uh, look at your competitors' articles, and also look at the articles that are ranking on the first page of Google. This is where you do your keyword research as well. So you can determine whether or not people are searching for the topic that you have in mind and also narrow down the specific keywords that have the highest search volume. And then from there, you can analyze search intent. Now, this is really, really important, more so now than ever before, because I've come across a lot of instances where, you know, a client wants me to create an an article touching on a specific keyword. And this keyword has high search volume. It's sounds pretty relevant, but when you actually Google it, you'll notice that the the pages that are searching are, you know, local pages. Say for example, like for in my instance, it was a national website, a global website really, but they wanted to rank for localized keywords. So location pages would be the ones that are ranking on the first page or Yelp, or Wikipedia, or other local-based directories. So you really want to make sure that you analyze 
the search intent to determine whether or not you could even rank for it. You know, in in Surfer, they have the content. What is it called? The content planner tool where you can you can um, add any keyword, and it'll tell you what the search intent is. So I highly recommend you make sure you understand the search intent before you move on to the next phase, which is the writing phase. So the writing phase is pretty straightforward. It's the writing part of, of your, your process. So this is where uh, you can you know, hire a copywriter or do the copywriting yourself. But you want to make sure in the writing phase that you have a proper outline and that you have content that is optimized for the SERP. So first, the outline, you want to make sure that you have an outline that touches on all of the things that the search intent will, will help answer. So if it's, you know, if it's, um, if it's informational, then you want to make sure you have a lot of informational pieces of content on there. If it's, if it's commercial, or investigation, shopping, local. You want to make sure that the content that you are writing touches on the search intent. And you know, if it has images, this is where you'll create the images or the video to make sure that whatever SERP features are being displayed in Google. You want to make sure your page has those SERP features so your page has the opportunity to to show up. And the third part is conversion strategy. So this is where you need to figure out where to place your call to actions and also figure out, figure out what kind of call to actions you should be creating. So if it's a, a checklist, a downloadable checklist, or a free trial, or you know a course, or what have you, you want to make sure you determine what your CTAs are and where to place them in the body copy. You can place them within the, the text. You can place them maybe at the bottom, but you don't want to make it too much like an ad or like a banner ad that you see on a lot of like news websites. You wanna make sure that it's, it's uh, reasonable, that it's sensible, and that it makes sense to the user, right? So. Call to actions, they should be irresistible. They should have, the offer should be an irresistible offer. So if you have content on a specific topic, the, the opt-in should be a freebie for that particular topic, right? And then the last part is optimization. So this is where you will need to wait maybe a couple of weeks to see uh, how well your blog ranks how much traffic it's getting. And from there, you could run an SEO audit and uh, see what you need to optimize. So you could use Surfer's um, SEO audit. And with, with that tool, you'll be able to determine whether or not the content that you have is, is, is enough or if you need to maybe make some updates, maybe add some more keywords in there or change things around and, and, and go from there. But you know, the optimization comes at least two weeks after you publish, right? So, so that's really it in a nutshell. You know, the discovery phase, writing, conversion strategy, and optimization. All four are very important, but if you were to ask me what you need to really focus on, I would focus focus on the discovery phase because you really want to make sure you are writing for the right keywords and for the right search intent. Because if you don't have those two right off the bat, then your writing, your conversion strategy, and your optimization will just be all crazy. So you know, I have an, an, an a client who, you know, the search intent and the keyword research is just all over the place. 
And there's hundreds of blog articles, which is good, but then the optimization is just so confusing. I don't know exactly what to optimize for. You know, it just ruins the whole, it, it doesn't ruin the whole thing, but it just makes things just so much harder to optimize for if you don't have the right keywords and if you are not writing for the correct search intent. So really make sure that the discovery phase is, is, is really, really fully fleshed out and you go through it properly before you do anything else. Um, I'll include a link in the show notes about kind of like the whole content uh, discovery and and how you could use Surfer's content planner to really make sure that you are writing the, the correct articles for, for whatever topic uh, you want to write about. And um, I also include a link to the SEO Writing Masterclass, uh, which, which will kind of really go deep down into all of these different four parts of content creation to really give you a better handle of how to approach approach your SEO writing. So uh, with that said, I hope you thought this was valuable. I will see you on the next episode.